Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. CEO of Ripple Brad Garlinghouse filed a new lawsuit with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission after a court affirmed a previous verdict in favor of his company and ongoing litigation. In related news, Ripple's cryptocurrency payment initiative in Singapore has received significant regulatory approval. In addition, I will be outlining the three main factors that contributed to the rise in XRP price including the possibility of a settlement between Ripple and the SEC, and a retest of the 52 cent price. You should watch this brand new video right away. If this is something you might be interested in, we Ripple's Chief Technology Officer Brad Garlinhouse has spoken out against the SEC. The company is situated in San Francisco. A district court has once again sided with his employer. On Tuesday, Judge Annalisa Torres rejected the SEC's interlocutory appeal of a judgment from July that found secondary XRP sales did not constitute security transactions. The SEC's arguments in the most recent ruling weren't convincing enough for the court to reverse its previous ruling. According to the court, the party's arguments were inconsistent throughout the case. Therefore, the agency had to wait to file appeals until after other issues in the litigation were resolved. The CEO of Rippled, who was mocking the SEC in light of the latest court judgment, joked that he had an XRP tattoo bearing the date of the July court decision. While the CEO of Ripple freely admits he is not a lawyer, he still claims the SEC was outplayed. Even while it pleaded with the judge to rule on its argument based on the well-known method, he tested it against Ripple. The organization was unsuccessful. On July 13, the court previously ruled in favor of XRP. The chief legal officer of Ripple is still there, and he or she says XRP is not a security. The SEC's two-pronged defense was undermined by a recent court judgment. The regulator has warned that investors in programmatic XRP sales may come to expect profits from Ripple's efforts and that those who get Ripple's other token dividends may end up financially involved in the company. Judge Annalisa Torres recently ruled that the SEC did not present sufficient evidence to rebut the findings in the July order, and that such cases do not present simple legal issues that can be resolved without a thorough examination of the underlying documents. The SEC must now wait until the court rules on additional grounds related to its bigger litigation against Ripple before launching an appeal. The next court date is scheduled for April 2320. As previously noted, the parties are required to file their pretrial papers by December 2023. To stay abreast of any XRP-related updates, be sure to subscribe to our channel and use the Notify Me box. On April 16, 2024, the final pretrial conference will be held. As was previously indicated, the parties and the councils must physically meet for at least one hour in order to negotiate a potential solution. Before the final pretrial conference, the parties and their attorneys are required by the court to meet in person for at least one hour to try to address this matter out of court. Judge Sarah Netburn, who is presiding over the preliminary proceedings in the SEC Ripple case, issued the decree in compliance with her earlier directive. As the judge's net goes up in flames after the court delivered its summary judgment finding, the parties were given the option to schedule a settlement conference within three days if they felt it was the correct time to do so. The schedule is up to the participants. However, the judge ordered that the court be notified of the meeting dates and times at least six to eight weeks in advance. And thus, somewhere between now and the pretrial session on April 16, 2024, each side must provide three potential meeting times for the settlement negotiations. Is the settlement still on the table? In any case, the SEC Ripple dispute and two settlement sessions have already taken place. Unfortunately, the lawsuit was not settled during either of the mediation sessions. It's crucial to remember that the past settlement talks have already been brought before the courts. Ripple has announced that it is willing to settle with the SEC in exchange for clarification on XRP and the 13th of July, 2023, summary judgment. The court has previously declared that XRP is not a security, which is an intriguing development. 
The SEC, on the other hand, was denied a prompt appeal of their loss by the court. According to a recent report by legal pundit Scott Chamberlain, the SEC will have to wait until the litigation is resolved before filing a full appeal with the Second Circuit. Despite the SEC's best efforts, he believes that the lawsuit has little chance of reaching the U.S. Supreme Court in light of Judge Torres' latest decision. The parties must meet with the judge to negotiate the terms of his settlement. As a result, the future meeting has a better chance of producing results than the previous ones. Furthermore, the business recently announced that its Singaporean subsidiary, Ripple Markets APA CPT LTD, has been granted full approval to offer Bitcoin payment services in the Singaporean market. Value of the Singapore's regulatory body after the top banking regulator in Singapore gave Ripple full major payment institution MPI clearance, the company conceded defeat and turned to X. In the tweet, Ripple reiterates its commitment to delivering useful crypto-based solutions to businesses in the Asia-Pacific region. In addition, Ripple noted that the success is evidence that Bitcoin solutions are valuable for businesses and banks. According to Ripple, this license marks a major milestone in the expansion of cryptocurrency usage. The financial institution also praised Singapore for its progressive Bitcoin laws. The statement claims that Singapore is at the forefront of digital asset legislation, making it an ideal location for businesses and financial institutions to use cryptocurrencies for international transactions. To quote Ripple's CEO, Brad Garland House also shared his thoughts on the regulatory landmark, he focused on Singapore's role in the expansion of its exports over the past six years. By balancing innovation, consumer safety, and ethical expansion, MHS has helped Singapore become one of the leading centers for fintech and digital assets, as reported by Garland House. Notably, for months preceded this full big payment institution license, Ripple earned a permission in principle from MHS. It's worth noting that there are fewer than 20 companies in Singapore who have been acknowledged for their crypto payment services, so this is a big deal for Ripple. The release emphasizes the continuing trend toward digital payment Ripple across the Asia-Pacific region. It was especially mentioned that by 2025, cashless transactions are predicted to expand by over 109%. What are the three most important factors contributing to today's surprising rise in XRP price? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell if you want to be among the first to know about XRP's potential future. The latest rally being promoted draws attention to three major news. Articles that have customers responding more optimistically. Many pro-cryptocurrency attorneys have been expecting for some time that Judge Justice Alyssa Torres would deny the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's request for an interlocutory appeal. So, what are the three biggest stories today? Judge Kors ruling confirms that secondary market XRP sales do not constitute a security offering, which is consistent with previous rulings. All future XRP distributions by Ripple Labs were deemed to not be investments, according to the ruling. This ruling is monumental because it sets the standard for how XRP is managed on a national scale. Investors that are bullish on the market may now feel comfortable purchasing the coin from the exchanges I've provided. Several other prominent cryptocurrencies are also the targets of SEC crackdowns similar to the one this case sets. The court has made public on April 23, 2024, the trial timetable in the case of Ripple versus the SEC, which is another major element supporting the rise of XRP. The trial is set to begin, and it will focus on the SEC's allegations against two of Ripple's executives, Brad Garlinhouse and Chris Larson. Finally, Ripple Labs has been awarded a full license by the Monetary Authority of Singapore or MASS, which may have aided in the recovery of XRP. With this green light in hand, Ripple may now expand his reach by providing crypto services to additional local businesses. The bulk of current backers are placing their bets on this approval and XRP's potential engagement in the company as crucial catalysts for XRP's growth, which they believe will be steady as a result. Given the recent downtrend in several other cryptocurrencies, it's understandable that some could believe the XRP's increase is also unsustainable. 
While market momentum can have an impact on short-term success, a solid XRP ecosystem could assist secure long-term prosperity. At present, XRP is trading at a premium of 4%, with trading volume up 90.4% to $1.68 billion and market capitalization up 3.9% to $28.2 billion. If you like the video, please hit the bell to be notified and subscribe. See you later, bye.